All right, how you doing? How you doing, guys? Uh, so we're gonna talk about the uh, Validarius versus Quarto fight, and uh, I'm doing this in English. So I, our Mexican friends or international boxing fans, IBF, and anyone who's a, a fan of boxing could understand uh, what I'm gonna try and say. So I'm gonna do a quick review and uh, my honest opinion about the the recent fight that happened um, between Rene Marquardo and uh, Daniel Valadares uh, in in Mexico. Uh, and uh, for me, there are a few things that uh, uh, really stood out that actually changed the game. That actually uh, made the fight different. Are you ready? Are you ready to talk about it? Let's do this. Let me do a quick intro. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So l let me just show you first. This is the eighth round, and this is credit to uh, Silver Voice TV uh, and uh, Sir Sean Gibbons. They were there right there on the the event, and uh, they were watching uh, the the event live, of course. Uh, so let's play this, and this was the 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 uh, the moment when the referee. Uh, uh, called for a slip instead for a knockdown. So let's talk about that first. So let me just show it to you. So just watch out for Rene Marquardo here. He's gonna throw in. There you go. That's definitely it. It wasn't that clear here, but uh, let me just. Okay. Maybe I, I should. Oops. Like let me just pause this a real real quick, and uh, I'm gonna slow it down. Wait, that's not where the speed is. I'm gonna slow it down to 0.5. And let's see. There was a first right hand first on the other side. Uh, if you see the ESPN broadcast, there was a... And there were no clear um, contact if it's a push or not. It wasn't even a slip. So, you know, uh, from the angle of the referee, he would say that he, didn't, he probably didn't see anything. But uh, I mean, if you if you look at the video again, there's just no way that this is a slip or anything because th it it came from a combination. I'm gonna slow it uh, slow it down further, okay? Point twenty five. So let's look at this. Irene Marquardo is attacking. This, th there's the straight right there. There, you see the head moving, and he got out of balance. After that, that's a clear knockdown. That's a clear knockdown. So, if that if that round was scored 10-8, again the the decision uh, was a split decision. Um, if, if that was 10-8, and then uh, there is another one uh, that we should talk about, which is the uh, the deduction because of the tape. The deduction because of the tape. Um, so that's one thing as well that. Uh, you know, it, it may be valid. I mean, uh, uh, the referee can, uh, I think, defend that one. But one thing as well that I, I have saw as a, as a boxing fan, it's, it's so... Con I, I'm just wondering, the doctor keep coming up. And the doctor is the one uh, acting like as if he is the cut man. Uh, and cut man and uh, he was actually trying to stop the bleeding from uh, Daniel Valadares. So that made a lot of difference. To be honest with you, that made a lot of difference uh, in the fight. There was a lot of moment, a lot of resting. Um, and, and this was during the time what, where Daniel Valadares was in trouble. And you know, uh, in boxing, uh, every second is important. Let's just say, for example, you got knocked down, you got hurt. And that's why you try to um, uh, use all of the you know the count that eight second the 10 seconds to recover from a punch and valid validaris and i'm sure you would agree with me was in trouble uh and that that cut wasn't very good uh he's giving it i mean he has the trouble uh with that and he got hit with with punches and it it does really uh change the game so i hope the ibf and the uh the camp of uh, Daniel Valadares gives uh, opportunity for Rene Marquardo to for a rematch because he deserves it, and uh, I know I know in in the Philippines, uh, you know, we, we know that when you go abroad or when you fight other promotions, that uh, 
uh, that you gotta win by a, a clear decision or you gotta knock out your opponent. I mean, that's a, a saying I think everywhere we go. But come on, on that one, I think uh, there should be a review and at least a rematch. Um, uh, one thing as well that I have to say though, uh, if uh, a fight is very close, I'm sure the referee and the judges can always defend the uh, the scorecard because the score is very subjective to the one that's looking, uh, and we are only watching it on TV, so it might be different. But uh, those things, those points that I mentioned, which is which are the knockdowns, uh, and the uh, there's a lot of moment or a time that has been given to Daniel Valadares to recover, that actually changed the game in the fight. Um, uh, Quarto was, I believe, in control uh, on the early onset, and he was he was actually for me uh, had the edge until, of course, the round number nine. After the knockdown, everything went south uh, for uh, for Quarto, and uh, of course, Valadares uh, kept on running, and uh, that's it. So. IBF, uh, our Mexican friends, hola, como estas, uh, amigos, uh, hope you can give uh, uh, our Filipino champion, uh, Rene Marquardt, a chance for uh, for a rematch. I think it's still going to be a good fight. You, we saw what happened, uh, but uh, I honestly think that uh, the, the decision of the fight, um, because of the those things that happen maybe you know some some would say it's it's uh, breaks of the game but uh, a rematch is uh, probably the best course of action for this one so to really de- uh, determine who's the real winner so let me know what you think guys uh, if, if there's any Mexican friends or international friends who watch the fight that uh, think the same way that I do please do so if you don't you also please comment on the comment section all right, that's all I have to say on this one. And uh, please comment, share, like, and uh, let me just read some shout outs first. Uh, uh, Joy Ch- Choi, shout out. Reggie, shout out. Morning. Chris Tong, salamat. Uh, na- uh, nakakaisang mandurugas lang na pagdayo. Yin champion na kalongkot kay kwarto na biktima siya. Isang halimbawa si kasi isang mga kampyon. Matay na pandurugas kaya dumadayo. Walang masabi ang kalaban. Kaming tulog. <laughs> Shout out, natural lang ang hometown decision. Yeah, well, man. Um, still, we we we're calling for uh, a, a rematch, uh, and I'm calling for a rematch. Hopefully, it happens. Anyway, uh, before I let you go, uh, if you're from the Philippines, my merch is available for 250 pesos on Shopee. Please go ahead and uh, uh, get one. You get free sticker. So, bye guys, and uh, see you on my next video. Salamat po sa supporta niyo sa aking channel. Bye.